I appreciate everyone taking time to uh, complete the poll that could, depending on their particular platform. Looks like YouTube's going to discontinue the uh, poll feature later this year. Anyway, you can see the results here in addition to about 63% of the comments tie back to uh, silver mica disease as well. Let's see what we've got. Let's get the signal tracer out here and do some signal tracing. We already know that the uh, noise itself is coming from the uh, loudspeaker. And if we uh, back up here, uh, you guys saw where I can turn the uh, volume control here up and down. And when I lower the volume, we do not hear the issue out of the loudspeaker. So what that tells me is the problem is not in the uh, circuit here between the uh, 12SQ7 and the 50L6. Or at least that's what I would bet on. So at those points, uh, we're probably uh, clean. We're just uh, bringing the signal in on the uh, high side of the uh, volume control right here as indicated in green. So uh, let's attach the uh, signal tracer there and uh, just confirm that we have the uh, noise at that point. And uh, we'll just keep working our way back toward the uh, front end of the uh, receiver. Let's check the high side of the volume control here. And indeed that uh, problem is there. So we know again it's back toward the uh, front end and not in the uh, audio side of the uh, circuit itself. Let's uh, continue to move back. And working our way back here, you can see uh, T2 comes into play. We'll uh, back up here and go over to the uh, plate, pin number 8 of the uh, 12 SK7. And uh, we'll check there and see if uh, we have that same uh, rushing noise at that point. You guys can hear there, we've got the uh, issue there to play as well. Let's move back to the grid there and check. Okay, you guys can see we've got the problem here as well in the grid. Let's continue to make our way back. So you can see, I think we ruled out uh, transformer T2 there. And uh, let's just go ahead and uh, check through uh, T1 here now. And uh, let's go over to the uh, plate of the uh, 12 SA7 and uh, see what we have at that point. not really hearing much of the uh, crackling noise here at the uh, plate, so uh, maybe that does lend itself to a problem in uh, T1. Let me go back over to the uh, grid right here, and uh, let's just check as well. So I can hear the uh, input signal there. Let me uh, fire up the oscilloscope and uh, let's look at the output of the uh, plate here and uh, see what the signal looks like leaving the uh, plate of the uh, 12 SO7. Alright, we still got that racket here. Let me go ahead and attach the uh, probe here to uh, pin number 3, the uh, plate. And uh, let's look at the uh, waveform here on the plate. And what's odd here, if you guys look at that, I would expect to see the uh, oscillator signal most likely and the only thing I see here is the uh, IF frequency are very close to that. Again I'm going through a uh, capacitor so there's some loading on the circuit but uh, that seems odd. Let's uh, move over here to the uh, oscillator itself and just make sure it's still performing as it should. And 
and there's our oscillator. So it's definitely uh, working here. Let me uh, tune the dial. Let me uh, check one other thing here. Let me take a closer look here at the uh, grounding location here back to chassis for pin 1 on the uh, 12SA7 just to make certain that we don't have an issue there. The pin 1 is grounded back to the uh, chassis and I threw my uh, meter on it here just to make sure that we had a good solder joint and um, everything looks fine. If you look at the uh, 12SA7, you'll notice that uh, pin 1 is a uh, tube shield. In addition, it ties back to uh, grid number 5 on the uh, 12SA7. So when I look at the chassis here, you can see the signal off of uh, grid number 5. is that same basically IF frequency that we're uh, receiving off of the uh, plate itself. So uh, the mixing's not occurring. And I think I uh, understand the uh, clue now. You'll notice again this goes to uh, chassis ground. So uh, let's go back to the uh, schematic just for a minute and connect all the uh, chassis grounds together and uh, see what we have in common. So reviewing the schematic here, you'll notice over in red I've got the uh, common location denoted. Uh, there's a bunch of those called out, so I didn't try to circle all those, but uh, if you go up above that, you will notice the uh, chassis ground. I think I've got all those circled in uh, green. So I think the clue was here, if you look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice C24 is called out as a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. That's the clue. So again, this radio having a floating ground bus that's not attached to the chassis, but for RF coupling and stability to take place, that capacitor C24 has to be there. That's what serves that purpose. It'd be just like a, a missing uh, tube shield. So what I did was look closer. I replaced C24 with a safety cap, an X1Y2. Actually went back with a .01. And I had a cold solder joint at one location. So uh, let me uh, show you guys how that impacts the uh, circuit itself. Again, where our RF coupling is not taking place. So what seems to mirror a silver mica disease in the IF in this radio with a, uh, again, a common floating ground isolated from chassis was nothing more than uh, capacitor C24 being compromised. All right, you can hear the radio playing now. Let's go back over to the plate here and uh, let's look at the uh, waveform. Again, that'll be a pin three here. And that's what I show now on the uh, scope. So it's more in line with the uh, oscillator frequency is what I'm able to pick up. You can see that change here as I vary the uh, tuning condenser. Now if we go back over to the uh, grid,
you can uh, hardly see a signal whatsoever at that point. So again, it just shows the importance here of a capacitor C24 being in place for this particular design to create that uh, coupling between the uh, chassis itself and the uh, common ground for the uh, circuit to work as designed. I appreciate everybody taking time to comment on the previous video and uh, complete the poll if it was available to you depending on what platform that you were uh, using to watch the uh, YouTube video. You guys uh, take care. More to come soon.